So, we will be first going through uh, gene prediction that is ORF finder. So, that is ORF finder is a tool which is present in NCBI which is uh, used to find out the uh, ORF. Uh, ORF means actually on the open reading frame when we consider a protein coding gene ok. A protein coding gene when we consider the protein coding gene start from a initiation codon AUG and it ends at a termination codon which is UAA U sorry U A G and U G A. So, in bio, uh, in bioinformatics or uh, in here we are dealing with the DNA only analysis with DNA only. So, we can convert this uh, uh, AUG to ATG as the start codon we are dealing with the DNA. So, we are converting the AUG as uh, the start codon and TAA, TAG and TGA as the stop codon. So, this, this frame, this open reading frame, this is the region which start from the start codon and ends with the term uh, the termination codon this uh, region is called uh, the open reading frame of a protein coding gene so that is the main part of a gene in gene prediction the finding the open reading frame is the main uh, process so for that the ncba there is a tool called orf finder which can be used to find out or predict the uh, ORF open reading frames. So, so, if we get a gene sequence, if we get a sequence, okay, uh, how we can, yes, origin of, uh, yes, or, it is not uh, origin of replication, uh, it is uh, when we take a gene there is there will be initiation codon and termination codon ok that is what origin of replication is uh, seen in the case of uh, what uh, the bacterial genome where the replication starts this is not about replication this is about uh, transcript um, sorry uh, trans, uh, translation yes translation so, this is about translation so origin of replication is uh, or is about replication um, this is about translation where the mrna uh, the translation start at aug we usually use cdna so usually cdna uh, sequences are stored in genbank we usually uh, use cdna sequences in analyzing the genes so the gene will start at ATG and ends at TAA, TTG, uh, so TAA, TAG and uh, TGA. So, that is the termination codon. So, uh, or origin of replication comes with the replication. So, we will be studying that. Sorry, I am, we will be taking primers. Let us design primers. Primers are there. So, I will be teaching you how to design primers or open reading frame. In molecular genetics, the open reading frame is the part of the reading frame that contains no stop codon or the region of, of amino acid coding triplet codon. So, the open reading frame is the region which, con, uh, which codes for the amino acid that is all. With the region which is start from the start uh, initiation codon and uh, which ends with the termination codon ok. There will not be any other 
stop codon in between or the open reading frame which start from the start codon and it code for uh, amino acids with their triplet um, amino acid uh, it, it contain the triplet codon which codes for the amino acid. So, the open reading frame contain triplet codons which codes for the amino acid which does not have a yes you can ask the question does not have a, 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 any stop codon in BTV. Yes, ask. There is some question coming. There is some question or please switch off the mic. So, we are going to that. So, ORF or open reading frame starts with a start codon that is ATG methionine ok in most species and ends with a stop codon TAA, TGA and TAG ok. In most of the species this will be like that. So, there are exceptions for the genetic code in uh, some of the species, some of the uh, DNA. There are exceptions, but more universally in most of the um, uh, species like this only the start codon and stop codon will be there and uh, uh, transcription termination post site is uh, located after the ORF, you, uh, that, uh, you do not need to think much. It will start the open reading frame, start from the start codon ATG and ends with the uh, stop codon that is T, TGA here, TAG or TTA. Okay? In between you can find the um, triplet codon which codes for the amino acid. One common use of open reading frame is, uh, is as one piece of evidence to assess the gene prediction. So, open reading frame is an evidence to assess the gene prediction, this is a part of gene prediction. If you can find out a proper open reading frame, um, uh, it is uh, uh, actually the open reading frame is the, is the part of the particular gene. So, it is it help or it assist in gene prediction. The potential coding regions of the gene are detected by looking at ORF in the um, DNA sequence. So, coding regions of a gene is detected by looking at ORF in the DNA sequence. So, uh, we can predict the gene by looking at the ORF in the DNA sequence mainly for um, eukaryote. Eukaryote only this problem will be there because eukaryote have introns and exons. So, um, we can find out the coding region by looking at the ORF, ORFs. But in the case of prokaryote there is no problem in that they, uh, they do not have introns. So, by easily uh, by predicting the ORF we can find out or we can predict the gene. So, this is the ORF, hope you understand, it start from a ATG and it is a T, T, A, T, G A and uh, the in between we can see as we can hear, see here, it start from A, A, U, G that is the uh, RNA they are representing A, T, G and it ends at T, uh, T, A, T, A, G and T, um, T, G A. This, uh, this triplex in between codes for a single, single amino acids, so which makes up the proteins. So, it is about a translation you have you can see the ribosome here. So, or a finder what it will do or a finder search for open reading frames in the DNA sequence you end up where if you enter a DNA sequence or a finder will find out all open reading frames present in your DNA. The program return with the uh, range of each open reading frame along with its protein translation. So, the uh, uh, when we give a sequence just like a, a, uh, what we have not done any tool uh, just we can just paste our sequence so that uh, uh, this ORF finder um, will find out the ORF and give the protein translation also give the protein uh, sequence also. Use uh, ORF finder to search newly sequenced DNA uh, for potential protein encoding segments. You know, if you have a newly sequenced DNA, in order to predict the gene, in order to find out which gene is present in the uh, or uh, which gene is present in that, uh, in order to find out, uh, we can use the ORF finder. Verify predicted protein using newly developed smart blast or regular blast P. So, we can see what it will be doing. So, before uh, going to that, uh, you should know, I will go to Noara uh, Finder and teach you everything. Before going to that, uh, usually in bioinformatics, 
how they find the ORF. Okay, prediction of ORF. The a terminology you should understand. Six frame translation. You uh, what in uh, this bioinformatics is all about prediction, is it? It is just about prediction. It is not about it is not about doing things in the lab. It is just about prediction. So what uh, the bioinformatics people do is that uh, they will go for a uh, when they get a sequence. Okay, when they get a new new sequence. Okay, here they will predict uh, six different reading frames from this sequence six different reading frames from this sequence so what they do is that uh, they will they will first first go with the six different reading frame and these reading frames are designated as uh, plus 1 plus 2 plus plus 3 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 just follow me then only you will get understand the plus one start from the first nucleotide CGC, one codon, TAC, GTC, TTA, CGC, like that uh, the codons have been found out. Okay, like that. It will start from the first nucleotide. It will start from the first nucleotide. the computer will predict first reading frame that is a plus one reading frame which start from the first nucleotide. Mm. Here you can see frame one, frame minus one, it will start from the first nucleotide like this, like this, like this. Okay. Then the second reading frame that is a plus 2 reading frame what it will do computer do is that it will neglect the first nucleotide and start predicting the reading frame from the second nucleotide g it will neglect the first nucleotide uh, first nucleotide and start predicting the gene from the second nucleotide okay gct ACT, acg tct tac GCT etc. Okay. One more reading frame is there. What it will do is that uh, if the computer what computer do if you do not understand you can ask me. If what computer do is that uh, computer will neglect the first two and start the reading frame from the third nucleotide C. That is the plus plus three. You can see CTA uh, CTA uh, CGT what I will show it in that so uh, we will start from CTA first in, first first codon CGT second codon CTT third codon ACG fourth codon uh, G, uh, CTG the fifth codon like this so like this it will happen okay like this it will happen so the three reading frame everybody understood Everybody understood the three reading frame plus one, plus two, and plus three. Then only I will go to minus. Yeah. Three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So then I will go to the minus frames. Any doubt you can ask me. Okay. So I am okay, going sir. to yes. I am going to the minus frames. So actually, um, during the uh, transcription. Okay. Sorry transcription the DNA has uh, two strands okay any strand can access the template for mRNA we do not know which strand is acting as the template for mRNA okay there is no specific no one uh, there is no specific thing So we are we are having the DNA 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 two uh, two um, uh, two strands are there 
the N2 strands are there, each strand can act as the uh, act as the template for the mRNA production. So, we do not know which strand 5 dash to 3 dash or 3 dash to 5, which strand, which strand is um, acting as a template for a particular gene. Okay. So, there is when we predict the particular gene, we should consider both the strands. So, this mRNA which is formed here will be transcribed from one of the strand. So, we should consider the other strand also. For that, we should take the complement of this strand. We should take, so we should take the complement of this, this strand. This is the sequence. We should take the complement of this sequence, is it? You can see there, this CGC. CGC means it will complement will like this, it will come uh, G, C, G, A, T, A, T, uh, G, C, A, like that, it will come, is it? You can look here, G, C, G, A, T, G, C, A, G. So, the complement we will take and we will then find out the reverse complement. We will start reading from here. You can see ATG, GCT, you can see here GCT, okay, uh, GCT, AGC, okay, reverse complement AGC, GAT, you can see here GAT. Uh, GTG, okay. Like this, we will create the uh, reverse complement here. So, we will create the reverse complement here. Done? Done? Up to this, you understood? We will take the complement uh, complement uh, sequence of this one, okay. And then we will. Uh, find out the reverse complement. We will read the sequence from here. Done? Okay. Yes, sir. Done. So, from this reverse complement, what we will do is that then we will again find out the codons starting from the first sequence ATG, GCT, AGC, uh, G, uh, GAT. GTG, this is the minus 1, this is the minus 1 frame. Then what we will do? We will, we will just neglect the A, first A, first sequence. Then we will start uh, uh, writing our code, uh, code on from TTG. CTA, CGC, ATG, that is a minus, minus 2 frame. And then what we will do? Then what we will do? We will uh, neglect the first two nucleotide. Then we will start the, sorry, start, start the uh, codon from the third nucleotide, GC, GGC, TAG, CGA, TGT, that is a minus 3 frame. So, we are just predicting, predicting 6 reading frame. In this, in this reading frame itself, more than 1 ORF also they can find out because they can find out ATG and UA in the same reading frame. You will see it when we go to our finder. So, first you should understand that um, the ORF, uh, the ORF uh, in bioinformatics or bioinformatician usually predict six reading frames when they get a particular sequence. Okay? Six reading frames. So, from the six reading frame, we will find out which is the correct reading frame. That is our aim. Okay? 
we will find out uh, which is the correct reading frame. Okay. Hope you understood. Shall we go to the ORF finder? So, what we do is that uh, in ORF, ORF finder, what we ORF is the um, ORF is the main part, main component which can assist the prediction of a gene. Usually an ORF start from the, um, start, uh, the initiation codon and ends at the termination codon. And uh, uh, usually a bioinformatician, main bioinformaticians what they do, they just predict the uh, uh, predict everything they are predicting only using mathematical calculations or uh, computational tools. So, uh, here bioinformaticians predict six reading frame while considering that the, this, this gene can be transcribed from the uh, any of the strand of double standard DNA. We do not know which strand. Many genes can be transcribed from one strand, some can be transcribed from other strand of DNA. So, we do not know which strand the transcription occur. So, we will we will try out where both strand, we will try out predictions from both strand. We have the sequence and we will take its complement, its complement and in both in the original sequence as well as complement, we will predict 3-3 three, three reading frames each. So, we have 6 reading frame uh, in our hand from which only one reading frame can code the particular protein. Okay? Why bioinformatics? We have predicted 6 reading frame. But uh, the, the original AI, o, ORF is only one only. One only can code for that protein. So, we will go to that ORF finder. We will go to ORF finder. You understood? Only one of the, we are just predicting the ORF, um, ORFs, uh, 6 ORF, maybe in the 6 reading frame, more than one ORF can also be uh, there because ORF means it starts from the start codon, ends with the uh, termination codon. So, um, uh, the tool can predict more than one ORF also. The actually, the thing is that bioinformatician go for the prediction in um, six, uh, six uh, uh, ways. That is, uh, it will predict um, uh, plus 1, plus 2 and plus 3 prediction it will do and minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3 prediction. But only one of the ORF will code for the particular protein. Okay? That we will see in the ORF finder. Uh, for uh, going into ORF finder, or a finder uh, searches for the open reading frame in a DNA sequence you enter. For that we will just go to NCBA and just take a uh, take a sequence. Uh, we, will, we will go to nucleotide sequence, gen bank and then we will just uh, try a sequence uh, uh, protein. Mm, I will just uh, type exokinase enzyme. So, uh, we can just take uh, humans, exokinase are there, animals we can select, mm, again drosophil only coming, so anyway we will take one gene, on mRNA we have taken drosophilas, so we will as I have already explained this is end bank format. Then we will go to the FASTA format. I have already completed all these things. So, we will just copy paste this sequence for our study only. You can copy paste your sequence which you go, go get by your studies. So, we need to find out ORF from the this sequence. Where the ORF, where the stat codon, you can see the, the protein is hexokinase. Okay? The protein is hexokinase. So, exokinase, how um, uh, um, every open reading frames will not code for exokinase protein. We have just taken uh, the RNA transcript of, uh, um, RNA, mRNA transcript of uh, this uh, Drosophila melanogaster uh, exokinase. So, every um, ORF will not code for its exokinase. We will just see it, see it. We will just see it now. 
so minimum ORF length we can give 75 and uh, genetic code uh, we can use the standard genetic code uh, we can use if genetic code may be changed slightly in some of the organisms uh, some alternative genetic code can be seen it's not a universal genetic code that also we can see here so genetic code we are just uh, selecting the standard genetic code and uh, it should start from the ATG only uh, uh, alternative insertion code we are not using so we are just making it as uh, the default and just uh, submitting it so that to find the ORF, they will find out the ORF, open reading frame. You can, we can see in that sequence, 28 open reading frames they have found out. This is our sequence. In our sequence given, they have found out 28. This, this is the mRNA which we have given, the mRNA um, uh, which the actual gene will not start at the first ATG of that mRNA. It will start somewhere inside that gene. So, we need to find out the actual ATG it will start and actual TAATGA it will end. So, that is a gene prediction we are doing. So, we can see different ORF they have found out. We can see the reading frames also they have found out. This is the plus 3 reading frame. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, uh, minus 3 reading frame, uh, minus 3 reading frame, we, as I said, uh, in the same reading frame, we can see multiple uh, ORF, we can find, uh, they, they have found out, you can see the lot of reading frame they have found out, we need to find out which reading frame codes for the exokinase, so, okay, then we can see here the protein sequence that uh, all ORF codes, which ORF, we can select this ORF, we will see the protein sequence is codes. You can select this ORF, we can see the protein sequence it codes. We can select this ORF, we can see the protein sequence it codes. So, what we do is that uh, we can select a particular, when we select a particular ORF, it will go there, okay. And find out uh, which ORF code actually for the exokinase gene. Only one ORF will code for. These are just prediction by the bioinformatics tools. They are just looking for the initiation code on termination code on all these uh, parameters of ORF and they are finding out uh, um, the ORF in the uh, three, uh, sorry, six reading frame. You can see that six reading frame. Plus, uh, plus three you can see, plus two you can see, plus one where, plus one you can see. Uh, where is minus one? Minus one you can see, minus 2 you can see, minus 3 you can see. So, in this reading frame, they have predicted 28, I think, 20 only, 28 reading frames they have predicted, 28 ORF they have found out. From this 28, only one ORF code for this uh, exokinase. For that, I will take blast only, directly blast, okay. We can directly do blast from there, but uh, I will show you. Blast we will study in the last last classes. Blast is a search tool. We are, will go for a protein blast. We are just uh, finding out uh, which ORF code for the, um, the protein. That is what we are going to find out. Just see. So, we have this much ORF. We are just selecting this ORF. Okay. I am not selecting the first ORF. That is the biggest ORF, maybe mostly that biggest ORF which will be coding for the exokinase. I am not taking that. I may want to show you uh, what this ORF I am taking. Uh, this is also one of the biggest ORF, okay. This code for uh, this protein, okay. This is the translation of this protein. If we blast it, blast is the tool which uh, search and find out uh, similar sequences. So, we have pasted a protein sequence in this blast in protein blast and then we will search okay in the database if this sequence will be found similar to that of the exokinase sequence we can find out that this ORF is the correct ORF I am just blasting I will give you every every parameters everything when you are teaching blast is a tool which help in uh, finding out the similar sequence by searching with the database so, I have just taken 
the protein sequence coded by this ORF, ORF24. Okay. And just I am blasting it so that we, whether we can find out some protein. We will just check. We can find out some protein which having the same sequence. Then it will be the exokinase. That or of code for exokinase. Let's see. So hope you understood. Understood what it is. Or of or of what we have done is that we are just finding out or predicting the particular gene by 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 looking the uh, initiation codon and termination codon that is ORF and these um, usually prokaryotic genes can be easily predicted by looking at the ORF and how we are um, uh, actually in bioinformatics um, bioinformatician look on the both the strands of DNA and find out the uh, predicted ORFs and uh, mainly uh, we can go for um, go for uh, six frame translation three um, uh, frame translation from the uh, one strand of dna and a three frame translation from the other strand of dna uh, so the uh, that translations can be set, uh, termed as a plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 that is the orf sir and from this orf uh, we, we only get uh, one we are just predicting we are just finding out uh, um, uh, some orf from that sequence after this uh, we need to confirm which orf actually code for the particular protein that is what we have just taken the each orf and uh, just search against a protein database to find out that uh, this orf um, uh, showing the similar protein sequence to that of the exokinase or not. We are just uh, blasted one ORF and find out uh, the protein is not uh, hypothetical protein this code for uh, it is not uh, showing similarity with any of the exokinase. Okay. This, this, uh, this, brought, uh, this sequence which have, we have taken uh, which has no similarity with uh, exokinase. So that uh, ORF never code for uh, uh, exokinase. Okay. Then we will check another, uh, another one more sequence. Hmm? One more blast. The bigger sequence mostly um, sometimes bigger sequence more than one bigger sequence come. That's why. Anyway, in order to understanding, I will do one more blast. Hmm? The new uh, one, uh, next ORF I am taking. Which ORF? Which ORF? ORF 28. Okay, just to blast it. Uh, we will do all these uh, uh, parameters when we study blast. Blast is a search engine which is search for the similar sequence. So, I am just uh, um, checking the uh, next OR of whether it is the 28 OR of whether it is the code for exokinase. We need to get an OR of which code for the exokinase. Okay. Mostly we can see no significant similarity found. Mostly uh, because our see, this, uh, this uh, OR of 24 was a bit bigger sequence only they have sh shown some similarity with hypothetical sequence. Mostly they will show no similarity, uh, no significant similarity found in the database mostly. So then we will check with the bigger OR. This is the bigger OR if we can see whether it will code for exokinase. Mostly it will come. Let us check. I don't know. Let us check. Uh, let us check in the blast. If it comes, we can confirm that uh, that ORF is the one which code for the exokinase. Let us see whether that ORF will code for exokinase. So, we have predicted a large number of open reading frames and then we will blast it and find out which open reading frame actually code for uh, the, uh, the exokinase or particular gene. You can see the arrow, this is the uh, plus strand and uh, the, uh, this, uh, uh, this arrow is the minus, minus strand you can see. 
So, plus 10 and minus 10 we can see it in this the arrow. You can see this uh, it's plus 2, is it? Plus 10 is the uh, arrow in this direction and minus 10 the arrow in this direction. So, let us see whether it is S. You can see it code for X than S. So, this is the we have predicted a every reading frame. In each reading frame we have predicted a lot of ORF but uh, still one ORF only code for this exokinase. Usually sometimes you will get a bigger ORF more than one or two. Then we need to confirm by blast. Now it is very easily we can say because all other ORFs are very very small pieces. So it will not code for a bigger protein called exokinase. So we can see now this ORF code for the exokinase. Like this we can predict the gene using ORF finder. So hope you understood. So when when it when we come to uh, eukaryotes, we will have uh, uh, ex exons and introns also. There are tools which can find out exons and introns also. Uh, there are tools. Uh, so gene scan is a tool which uh, we can find out exons and introns, and we can find out exons and introns. And uh, introns can be uh, spliced out, and then we can go for the similar OR prediction. So we can do like that also. So we can just go through gene scan. Gene scan is a simple tool, it is not much uh, complex. Uh, gene scan is a simple tool. I will just go through and show. So we can find out the exons and introns. So we can give our space our sequence here, where is our sequence? Uh, this is a Drosophila melanogaster sequence. I think you will get a lot of introns and exons. We can paste it here and uh, run gen scan to get a uh, number of introns and exons we, they will predict. Uh, we can see predicted gene exons and introns. We are we can see one uh, x one exon we can see begins at six 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 zero five and uh, ends at uh, two two three one and other exons we can see start with three three six zero and three three six five so we can eliminate the in introns and then we can predict the you can see the pe predicted peptide sequence after removing the uh, introns we can see the predicted peptide sequence and from this uh, we can sorry i think they have not found out exons this sequence um, predicted gene ex gene exons they have found out here and uh, suboptimal exons with probability this this uh, this parameter only they have not predicted uh, actually they have predicted the gene and uh, the predicted gene uh, has is been shown here so predicted uh, protein product formed from the uh, these exons has been uh, predicted here so using this protein we can uh, we can use it for uh, uh, this is a predicted protein from the particular uh, these gene which we have so they have uh, removed the introns and they will predict the uh, um, protein you can just uh, blast this protein and find out whether it is good for exokinase or not we can just blast no problem and we can just blast the predicted and find out whether it forms goes for exokinase they have predicted the protein gen scan this is Let us try. Uh, this will continue. I think it is not coming in the pasta format. Uh, anyway, the, so GenScan is the uh, tool which can remove the or which can predict the exons uh, and uh, so that we can splice out the introns and find out the predict the gene. Uh, one of the tool and then the ORF finder mostly it can be easily used for a prokaryotic gene and eukaryotic gene after splicing out the introns we can easily use for eukaryotic gene also so so this is the tool we can see 
let us see whether it will come or not. So, the, this is about gene prediction or over a winder, hope you understood.